Well, what is going on YouTube and welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you three more products that I found on AliExpress that are perfect for selling this time of year right now. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you will have seen my drop shipping strategy videos and how I talk about now is the perfect time to start your business. Just because we're coming into quarter four, which typically means the most profitable time of the year. And it also means we've got things like Black Friday and Christmas coming up. So today I'm just gonna be showing you the products on AliExpress and just talking you through why I believe they're good products and ultimately how to go out and market them. So that's the topic of the video then guys. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet for daily videos on this sort of stuff, make sure you do. And that being said then guys, let's get straight into the video. What is going on then guys? Welcome to my computer. So a couple of things then before we jump into it. Number one, I've already done a video on this before on three great products for 2018. Uh, this is actually the video here and it got pretty good feedback. So uh, hence that's kind of what gave me the idea to do this video. Um, now that previous video is kind of like products in general. The, today's video is going to be more about products to sell right now um, and they're going to be kind of based around what time of year it is and the kind of conditions that come with this time of year um, but I'll get more into that later uh, and then the second point is kind of a little disclaimer. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, these products that I'm going to show you, these are great products in my opinion um, but just simply put them on your store and driving traffic is no by no means guaranteed to make you any money. Um, in my opinion, you need three you need to do three things well uh, in order to make money. And number one is have a great product. Number two is have a great store. And then number three is have a great marketing campaign. So unless you do all three of those things correctly, then you're not going to make any money. So just keep that in mind. So that being said, then guys, let's get straight into product number one. So here we are then, product number one, and it is a bike light. And as you can see, that is basically what it does. Um, cycling especially in the UK is absolutely huge it's really popular now perhaps not this time of year but we're not this is kind of a different market that we're going after within the cycling niche we're not going over, going after the hardcore cyclists uh, that get on their road bike and do 50 60 miles every weekend these are the people commuting to work that don't own a car and they've got no other option because of the time of year the clocks go back soon which means we'll have one less hour of daylight each day uh, at the end and at the beginning, which means it's inevitable that people are going to be commuting to work in the dark, uh, which means they're going to need decent bike lights. And this is, it's got a unique selling point. <coughs> it's got a unique selling point. Some of you guys may have seen it, some of you may not. But as you can see, it puts these lines down and creates like a, like a bike lane behind them. So in terms of having all the characteristics of a great product, I believe it's there, number one. Um, it does the job here, obviously, with the basic light. And then this is the unique selling point. People are going to see this, um, especially if they haven't seen it before. Then it's quite a cool feature. Simply using this image alone on a Facebook ad, I believe, will be more than enough to grab a lot of attention. And people within the cycling issues do cycle on the roads. Um, I just find them to be quite passionate people. Um, and in terms of organic reach, then I just think something like a product like this has a lot of potential of going viral, uh, which ideally makes it a decent product in my mind. People who are into cycling, they tend to be quite passionate people and passionate about what they're doing. And they also tend to mix in circles of people who think the same way as they do and also really passionate about cycling. So when it comes to marketing and reach, um, I just I can see this going viral really quickly. Um, people tagging each other and then those people tagging each other because they tend to mix in groups uh, when you see groups of cyclists on the road then there tends to be more than uh, one or two of them like sometimes you'll get groups of 10 15 people and every time they tag someone but if they're going to tag 14 people then i think it's something like the average person on facebook has 60 friends so if they tag 14 people that's 14 times 60 and if they tag another 14 people each that's hundreds if not thousands of people that you're going to reach uh, organically which is it's just a recipe for a, a good a good product basically um, and then another reason as well is you've probably heard me speak about um, like trying to find products that appeal to people psychologically um, or emotionally and solve a problem in that respect so there's obviously the safety respect on this um, I'm not sure about other countries I think most of my subscribers are in the UK so they'll know as well that there's a lot of and there can be a lot of media on the safety of cycling on the roads, especially in the UK. Um, and this adds like an extra safety feature. It gives that lane behind the cyclists, uh, which is just an added safety feature. And anyone who spends a lot of time on the road, particularly on a bike, um, is going to see a product like this and think it's awesome. I think it's a really good thing because rather than just having this light here, you've got this added safety feature, uh, which ultimately is gonna make the product just more appealing in my opinion. And then the next thing, uh, which is really good in my opinion as well, is the price. 
Um, in fact, before we get into the price, just look at the ratings as well. So it's obviously a decent quality product. Uh, something just to mention now as well. Um, these are just purely the product examples I'm selling you. Um, I haven't like specced out the supplier yet, so I'm not sure if they're good suppliers or not. Ultimately, you'll have to find the, uh, a decent supplier yourself. This is purely just to show you the products. Um, but anyway, look at the ratings. They've got really good ratings, like a load of orders as well. Uh, so that's plenty of social proof there for you guys to know. Uh, that these are really decent products. And then look at the price as well, 60p to £1.34. So if we go for the red one, e-packet shipping. Uh, so 363 delivered. Um, if you guys are actually gonna go out and sell this product, then I would, I would start at £15. Truly reckon you could sell this for £15 because it's quite a unique product uh, that I don't think a lot of people have seen before just yet. Um, especially coming up to Christmas as well, um, you can get away with slightly inflating your prices just because people are looking for those uh, like really cool gift ideas. Um, so I would start at a £15, if not £20, and I reckon you'd be able to get away with that. Another thing that makes this a great product as well is the upsell and cross-sell potential. So if somebody's looking for a rear light, then the chances are they need a front light as well. Um, so you can put that on your website or have it as a pop-up when somebody adds to cart or clicks checkout. And let's say we find a front light that we can sell for £15 at so the same price. So we're selling both for £15. Uh, we're getting them from the same supplier, so we don't need to pay £2.29 e-packet shipping. Uh, for both products that will cover both products so uh, we're looking at 268 product cost plus the shipping so we're looking at about about five maybe six pound cost of goods to us uh, selling for 30 quid there's 25 pound of room in there in terms of how much we can afford to spend per purchase uh, which again just makes them really profitable and another reason why these makes these a great product when it comes to marketing wise and i personally would start on facebook um, and i would usually i'll probably go quite broad to start with now I know I usually recommend with a new pixel when you're first starting out going quite uh, focused and flexing down uh, but because of the time of year I'm not quite sure who would be the bigger buyer now. Um, it might be a wife or a girlfriend buying for their, for their husband or boyfriend who cycles to work or it might just be the blokes, the men that are cycling to work themselves that actually buy it themselves. I usually find women to be the bigger or most um, like popular online shopper. So. To start with, I would go quite broad and just see what kind of engagements and reactions you get and see who the people are that are adding to cart and purchasing. So that covers product number one then, guys. I don't want to go into too much depth uh, just because I am conscious of the length of the video. And that being said, then let's get straight into product number two. So here we are, guys, product number two. Um, and as you can see, it's a light bulb that mimics the appearance of a flame. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good product, especially this time of year. As you can see, there's plenty of orders and plenty of good reviews too. Now, the reason I think it's going to be so good, especially this time of year, is because in the UK, nights are getting shorter. Once the clocks go back, nights will be even shorter. It's getting colder. It's the time when people start uh, putting their heating on if they haven't already. Uh, lights in the house are going on more often. Uh, people are dusting off their fireplaces and they're lighting up their fires to warm the house. And they're trying to make the house as cozy as possible. And this bulb, I think, does a great job of doing that. It gives that warm feeling without actually having to have a fire and also it looks pretty cool as well um, and I think it would just be really easy to market on Facebook if it was me I would probably contact the supplier and ask them if they had a video that you could use as a marketing here we go actually they actually do have one um, and this would be the perfect video to just put on Facebook you could use this as your marketing video um, I would ask them to send the video without this Chinese writing um, in fact it disappears anyway so you could just cut it from here on and as you can see if it's going to show it and there you go as you can see it's the perfect demonstration of how the product works um, and it's a great way of people seeing the video and trying to picture it in their minds they could have that on their patio or their decking outside their house um, it's just a really great uh, cool product uh, that's just really suitable for this time of year so this is why I think this will be a great product in terms of pricing it seems a bit pricey five pound to six pound twenty let's see what that works out with the shipping as well so e27 that's the common fit in here in the UK uh, e-packet so you're looking at seven pound delivered you could probably get away with with 20 quid on this maybe maybe a bit less so it's not a crazy amount of room in fact this would be a great product for potentially sourcing in bulk you could test it for a couple of weeks drop shipping uh, see what sort of results you can get see what sort of numbers you can return and if there's room there source it in bulk because I reckon off the top of my head you could probably source these for one maybe two pound per unit uh, which again just opens up that profit margin and room for your marketing budget. So that's product number two. In terms of marketing, I think it'd be quite an easy product to market because you've already got the video provided for you. 
Um, I would ask them to send you the actual file types. You can do a bit of editing, maybe add uh, some text or writing at the top, your company logo, maybe the same at the bottom. Um, and I think it's got, again, a lot of potential for going viral because people who haven't seen it before who think it's pretty cool, they're going to share it, tag their friends in it. And if something like this does go viral, then you can go from naught to like making really big, big numbers uh, pretty much overnight. One thing to point out here, guys, as well, is that because it is plugging into the electrics, I would vet your supplier very well here. I would ask them for the required certification. If they're a decent supplier, actually, they should state it somewhere on their product page. Uh, so as you can say, certification e, EMC, Roche, CE, and LVD. Uh, so before actually going ahead and selling this product, I would contact them and ask them to provide those certificates just so you can make sure you're covered yourself. And that being said, then guys, that pretty much covers everything for product number two. Uh, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you do leave a like. Uh, it would be much appreciated. And that being said then, now product number three is a bit of a wild card. I usually talk about impulse buy products on this channel, which is sort of products that cost, for the consumer, uh, cost anything under sort of 20, 25 pound. Uh, but this third and final product is quite a bit more expensive. I have spoken to quite a few people actually about high ticket products. Um, so I thought I'd mix it up a bit and add a bit of a wild card in there. Product number three is the drone. So drones are in a massive hype, especially in the UK now. And coming up to Christmas, I just think it's the perfect time to try and capitalize on this. Now you might be thinking, oh, you're a year behind the hype or two years, but I don't think that's the case. When it comes to China, as soon as anything is initially released, then there's usually loads of suppliers jumping on the bandwagon, trying to get products out as soon as possible, just to try and make as much money as possible and take advantage of the hype. But with drones especially, loads of drones flooded the market. Uh, it reduced the price of them overall. I bought a drone uh, it's over there, it's a 3DR Solo uh, a couple of years ago and it cost me 1200 quid. Um, and as you can see, you can pick them up now for a lot less than that. Uh, the technology is a lot better and the quality is a lot better. So going back to what I was just saying, loads of suppliers flooded the market, selling drones, trying to take advantage of the hype as much as possible. And the product, like the quality control was just poor and so many like dodgy and just really poor quality drones hit the market. Um, so th there's been now a year, two years, these suppliers mass producing these drones, uh, they've been able to quality control them a lot better and you can get a decent drone for a decent decent price. As you can see, nearly 18,000 orders, that is just a crazy amount, uh, especially to have nearly five star reviews as well too. Uh, another thing to point out as well, I haven't vetted this supplier, again I am just purely showing you product examples. And another great thing about this product as well, look at all the different options, so it starts at uh, what's the cheapest so you can start at the cheapest and it tells you what you get so it's a great product to go ahead and upsell so somebody can just go for the bog standard basic price uh, and then if they want to upgrade they can get uh, by the looks of things a better camera there's a lot of potential here too as well with private branding so if you sell this for two three weeks and it starts selling really well then you can go ahead and start asking the supplier to to print your logo on them which ultimately is going to benefit you and make you look more professional and legit um, and if they do start selling well too, actually source them in bulk. Um, and as you can see, as we, as the bulk standard is 30, 39 pound, you can go ahead and probably sell this for 100 pound, maybe 150 pound. And you probably only have to sell one or two of these a day, which isn't a lot on Facebook. Um, and you can start making enough money to replace like a decent wage. Uh, so that is obviously the benefit of high ticket items. But obviously if you are selling high ticket items, then you've, your site's got to be on point. You can't have pixelated images, you can't have Chinese writing, you've got to have a really decent site uh, if you're going to be selling these high ticket items. So of the three products, this is probably my favourite actually, just because when it comes to drones, when you talk to people about drones, people love the idea and they get excited about it, but not many people have drones purely because of the price of them, but now you can offer a decent drone, we know it's decent because of the reviews, and you can offer it for a reasonable price as well. So especially coming up to Black Friday and Christmas, just now is the perfect time to be advertising uh, things like this, things that people can get excited about. And when they see the price, think actually that is a more affordable than I thought it was. Um, I could actually buy that as, as a gift for someone, especially if someone's buying for their son or even their daughter or even their husband. I can see why it's buying, buying drones for their husbands too. Uh, now when it comes to marketing, there's gotta be a video on this one as well. Uh, as you can see there is, so let's have a quick watch of that. Banggood.com. It's actually looking pretty professional so far, um, and I'm pretty sure they'd have no problem at all with you using this um, as your marketing video. If it was me putting this on Facebook, I would probably get rid of all this intro and just show it flying. Here we go. This is the best bit. This is what people are going to get excited about. By the looks of things, does that attach to your phone? 
think it attaches to your phone, which is pretty cool. Um, you can take images with it, you can do flips and stuff. So marketing something like this, it's just going to be so easy. It's going to get so much attention. And then when people click on it and see the price you're selling it at, as long as you look legit and you've got all the, you've got a really decent store uh, with it on, then I think these can be, like, these are going to sell really, really well. Um, and look how small it is as well and easy it is to pack away and get out. So there, that's product three then guys. I think when it comes to marketing something like this, it pretty much sells some, sells itself. And in terms of who would buy it, again, I would probably start quite broad. See who gives it the most interest. See who the people are buying this, whether it is uh, like mums buying for their son or whatever, or their husbands, or maybe it is blokes buying it for themselves, or you just don't know. There's so, there's so much scope with this, uh, which is why I would start so broad. Um, and just put it out there to everyone and see who are the people that are adding it to cart or purchasing. And that being said, guys, that is product number three. Uh, one more thing to mention again, because I imagine you have to charge the drone somehow, uh, power source electric. So yeah, you'd have to charge this. So again, I would just ask the supplier, uh, looking at how many reviews they have, they probably do have the required certifications. Uh, that they probably have no problem sending over to you. So yeah, I will check that one out as well. And that being said then guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. That's all three products. Now, I really do hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, I really do appreciate the feedback as well. Um, I do tend to look at what videos get the most feedback, uh, which ones you guys are enjoying the most. So if you do want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, and if you're new around here for daily videos on product research, Facebook ads, uh, all that sort of good stuff, then make sure you hit that sub button too. And that being said then guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.